Wherever there is a tree or there was a tree, it is possible. Life, as you can see, on the most hostile places in the world, if you go on the road in the middle of nowhere, if there is no car passing through, you see a little grass coming through the asphalt, you know, through the road. So, wherever there is a tree, life will come through and there is a way of doing this in tropic farming. Uh, there is no recipe, there is only understanding the principles of how life, what's the direction of movement of life and then you can do it anywhere just using the plants and the elements of that region of the weather of that conditions and what would you advise to a farmer who has 200 hectares of crops how can he start to do syntropic farming so let's say that 200 hectares and on the way on the process of making it to harvest what he's harvesting He's losing energy. Every year he needs to bring a lot of inputs. I would advise him to start improving the soil. Slowly with, with building little rows of forest. You know, could be five meters apart, 12 meters apart, 20 meters apart. But creating the foundation where that that tree line or that row of forest will bring more life into the soil, will improve his soil slowly until he can see the difference. So he can plant an orchard every 12 meters and can still plant his corn or whatever he's planting in between and still using the machines. And then slowly when he sees, he start harvesting some fruits out of the system and then he might get another source of income income where but instead of depleting the soil and spending a lot of money on inputs he's actually improving the soil and bringing less and less inputs so i would advise them to start improving the soil slowly bits by bits until he gets to the point where he can switch over and not spend that much money in inputs anymore